Hey guys, it's Rage here with a tutorial on how to do an effect that I've been using in quite a lot of my recent edits, including my raw edit series. Uh, people have been asking me to do this effect, so um, let's get on to it. So, as you can see here in episode 2, where I used it, it makes it shows you like the gun's mechanical structure, you could kind of say. And of course the spinning guy from episode 4. And then um, I used it in a transition on my Don Fateman edit, I believe. Keeping your eyes closed. You can see there, like, makes the map kind of wiring. You can see all the edges of the map. So let's crack on to it. I'm going to um, open up Vegas. So for Vegas to open. Right, so what you want to do once you're in Vegas and you've got your clip, you want to um Hold on, I'm going to delete all this. You want to um, render out your clip, or or you could just take a screenshot by pressing this button up here of a certain place where you want the effect to take place. But what I tend to do is I tend to render out the part of the clip that I want to go to, to the one the part of the clip I want to add slow mo to with Twixter, and then I go into uh, go into After Effects, apply the Twixter, render that back out. I want some in Vegas again with the Twixted file. I'll go through it, find a, p a part that's got really slow slow mo, or a part that I want the, the effect to take place. Render that out, and then bring it back into Vegas, um, back into After Effects, and apply the effect, which is which I'm going to be doing now. It's better to use a picture because then it's just a single still still image, so it's no frames are moving, so you can just apply the effect straight off. But if it's a moving image and you want to um, apply the effect just to a certain area you're gonna have to do a whole lot of masking like if you wanted to do apply it to a gun while you were running you'd have to mask out so it's only the gun running so what I tend to do is if I want to apply it to a certain area I will show you now As you can see here, I have a very slow mo bit that I want the effect to go onto. So you want to go to the pen tool up here, in between the text tool and the shape tool, and just simply mask out the gun. It's better to be outside the lines on the inside because you can just feather it out, so it feathers or feathers out and reveals a bit more of the image. So I tend to do um, as close to the edge as I can, and then just feather it out a bit. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I'm just going to do a cookie for the sake of the tutorial. So there you've got that, and then you're going to press MM and bring up the feather a tiny bit. Turn off masks by this button down here. And then you're going to click Effect, Stylize, Find Edges. As you can see there, it's kind of con gone to like a white thingy. So you're going to go up here to the Effects tab and click Invert. So as you can see there, it already looks quite nice. See, as you can see, it's not the effect isn't following the the mask isn't following with the gun. That's because it's moving. So you might want to do multiple masks. But I tend to just feather it out because it looks nice. Because you're only adding it as a on top of the original image, so it doesn't really matter. Sub so effects. For this is to make it look better. You could effect color correction, CC toner, turn the highlights down to black, and then the mid tones. You want to change it to whatever color you want it to be. So I'm going to put a red. So as you can see there, it's looks quite good. So now you want to render out. I'm going to composition add to render code and just render it out. Come back into Vegas and see I've split here. This is where the this is where the clip was that I was 
I find the effect to, so I've got it ready. No, I swear you know exactly where to add it on top of two. So, I'm gonna add it on top and change the layer mode, composition mode here to add, and maybe fade in the edges and fade it out so it doesn't not just all of a sudden. So, just need that. And you can also do it to uh, whole areas of the map. So, see if I render out this front first bit here. Go back into After Effects. Import that file in. Effect. Stylize. Find Edges. Invert. Effect. Color Correction. CC Toner. Black Highlights. And Red Midtones. As you can see there, the map's gone kind of wiry now, so if you render that out as well, and bring that into Vegas, delete the audio, as you can see there, you've got the map being like a predator kind of effect, like all wired, and the edges have all been changed colour, so it's a pretty nice effect, so there you go guys, I'll render this little clip out with the effect on it at the end, so if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, you'll be able to see what I'm on about and then maybe go back to the tutorial and try and follow it best you can. So uh thanks very much guys and peace out.